I had no choice. In the Vietnam War happened in my village. Kim Phuc Phan Thai knows firsthand about the horrors of war. But now she's turning her pain and suffering into a path to peace. I don't believe in war. I work for peace, I work for joys, and that is, people need that everywhere. Fan Tai was just nine years old when Associated Press photographer Nick Oot took this photo during a napalm attack on her village in Vietnam in 1972. She and her brother and cousins had been hiding in a temple when a bomb strike forced them and other villagers to run down a nearby road. And I heard, boop, 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 boop. Then I saw the fire everywhere, and I, I saw the, the fire over my left arm. You can see that. And I used my right hands. I just wrap it, and all my clothes just burned off by the fire. Fan Tai was burned over 65% of her body and stayed in the hospital for 14 months, enduring 17 surgeries. Meanwhile, the photo of the napalm girl became one of the most iconic images of the Vietnam War and helped turn the tide of public opinion against the conflict. But the picture almost didn't see the light of day. And the uh, AP mm -hmm. in, in New York, and they say that picture is show a lot of uh, nudity. And, but then the editor uh, from the AP in that office in Vietnam, uh, he say, not about that. This is about the real story caught in the moment of the tragedy in Vietnam War. At first, Fan Tai admits she wasn't a fan of all the attention the Pulitzer Prize winning picture received. But after having children of her own, Fan Tai says it led her to her life's mission, promoting peace, faith, and most of all, forgiveness to a world in desperate need of more. If that little girl in the picture, the napalm girl, can do it, so everyone can do it too.